Hi, welcome friends to the part one of the new tutorial series. In this series, I am going to discuss you about how I made this scene and we will also look on the lightning techniques, texturing and set up in the camera and finally making some final adjustment in Photoshop for better look. Friends, you are watching tutorials from Adari CG Tutorials on YouTube. For more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now get started. Open up 3ds Max. From the geometry, select the plane and draw the plane on the top angle view. Make the plane length and width as 800 and the length and width segment as 50. Switch it to the perspective view. For making the road and terrain, we need the help of a blueprint. Open up the Photoshop and make a new document with 1000 pixel in width and height. Fill it with white using a paint bucket tool and make a shape like this using pen tool and fill it with black. And save our blueprint as JPEG. Back to 3ds Max. Choose one material and in the diffuse apply the blueprint as bitmap and apply it to the plane. Ok, our blueprint is applied. The terrain should not be plain. It must have some bumpiness over here. Now just have a look at how to do that. First convert it to the editable poly. Open up graphite modeling tools. Select the push pull brush tool. Make the brush size as 50 and pressure as 10 and start drag it up. For push the polygon down simply hold on the alt key. Increase the brush size little bit up as 70 and continue the pushing and pulling. Now this is the time for texturing the terrain. First apply a unwarp UVW modifier on it and select the polygon selection tool. Select one polygon and expand the selection to seams and pelt it. Click on the start pelt. Yes, pelting is completed. Just commit it. Come to the tools and relax it by face and angles and start relaxing. Rotate it little bit and scale it down. Render the UV template, make the width and height as 1K resolution and render the UV template. Give a name and save it as JPEG. Yes, OK. Open up the UV template with Photoshop and unlock the layer by double mouse click. The terrain must have grasses, so need to apply a grass structure on the terrain first. Here is our grass structure. Unlock it and copy it over the UV template. With the transform tool, scale the texture down. We applied the grass texture on the whole area. Now we need to make the road on the middle of the grass field. Open up the blueprint and copy the road shape to the terrain texture and we need to fill this shape with road texture. Here is our road texture. Unlock it and copy it over here and scale it down and copy it many times over the whole shape. With a spot healing brush tool, make patches and combine these all layer together and clip it to the road shape. Our road is ready. Now we can check how it works on Max. Let put a name for this texture, leave it as PSD and save it. Back to 3ds Max, open up the material editor, make it as a V-Ray material. And in the diffuse, apply our texture as bitmap. 
ok we applied it on the model just have a look now we need to make some mods over the sides of the road back to the photoshop and merge these all layer together unlock the mud texture and copy it over here scale it down and copy it many times around the road and combine all these layer together make a shape like this with pen tool and make it a selection invert the selection by pressing ctrl shift i and delete the unwanted portions the mud texture should merge with the grass texture for that apply a layer mask on it select the brush with a black color and start merging these layer together ok it is well just save it take a look on the max yeah it is good now we need to make some distortions on the edge of the road for doing that apply a layer mask first choose a brush and start distorting on the edges of the road save it take a look on max ok we done it the road should be little bit up from the ground applying height to the road we will do it with a displacement map back to the photoshop hide all these layers and make a new layer fill it with white color and unhide the road texture layer hold on the control and click for make the selection make a new layer and fill this selection with black color this will be our displacement map name it as terrain displacement leave it as psd and save it back to the 3ds max with our material selected come to the displacement map apply the displacement map as a bitmap and make the displacement value as 10 and take a test render here sorry i did a mistake here the height is appearing downward direction back to the photoshop and make a snapshot of this image by pressing ctrl shift alt e and invert this image and save it back to the 3ds max once again take a test render yeah well it is working but the height is little bit more change the displacement value as 5 and take a test render again yeah this is ok for us our terrain model is ready the remaining things i will discuss in the next part friends you are watching tutorials from adari cg tutorials on youtube for more updates please subscribe my channel thanks for watching and bye for now